Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about, honestly, I feel like my most favorite part of uh, my makeup routine. This video is long overdue. It's very, very long overdue. I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite parts of makeup foundation last video that i did that was talking about my must-have foundations i believe it was like my top 10 foundations i will link it up here somewhere in the screen that video surprisingly when i filmed it it was probably over two years ago i want to say maybe even three years ago i did not think much when i filmed that video i was like okay i love these foundations we're putting it together and honestly you guys that video still does numbers these days it is my most viewed video in my channel it has almost a hundred thousand views top 10 best foundations ever for long wearing oily combo skin it's at ninety seven thousand views so i was like yo like what like i did not think much about this video and then one day i was scrolling through my channel and i was like and i've never given you guys <laughs> another like update foundation video like of course I'll mention like you know what is my favorite things like that but I have not done an accumulation ever since I did my last video of my must-have foundations that I absolutely am in love with and that I feel like everyone should get a chance to try so today we are going to be filming an updated foundation must have my favorite foundations that I personally cannot live without that i have to have it's interesting to do this video so many years later because i'm gonna go back and see if there's still some foundations that i still love as much as i do because my style of makeup has changed drastically so if you guys are interested in seeing what my must-have foundations are my foundations that i absolutely love cannot live life without if you watch that old video comment down below and let me know I'm interested to see what is still in that list from this old video and also a bunch of newbies. So if you guys are interested in just wanting some new foundation recommendations to try out for yourself, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I was trying to keep it under 10, but I think I have 11 or 12. Sorry, I, I like I did not want to leave out foundations that I really, really like and that are good. So I was like, you know what? Like this isn't even in any particular order. It's not like ranking from best to worst. Like I just love all of these foundations the same exact way for their own reasons, you know? It's kind of like when you have a bunch of different friends. Like you, you don't rank people, you know? Like you have people that you just love for certain reasons. That's how I feel about foundations all of the foundations that I'm gonna talk about. I don't wanna make this video any longer than what it needs to be, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. So, we can go ahead and start with on my face. By the time you see this video, I probably will already have this makeup look up. I did film this makeup look. I tweaked it a little bit differently. I added lashes and changed my lip, but this video is up. I will link it up in the screen. It was basically a full face of NARS, so check that out if you're interested in seeing how I got the face makeup. So, speaking of NARS, we're gonna start with NARS. So these are the foundations that I have on my face today. We are going to start with the OG, OG, OG. This was in my last video. It's still here because I still love it years later. I've been using this foundation for, I don't even know, probably like six plus years now. This is the NARS Natural Longwear Radiant Foundation. I wear the shade Macau. I absolutely love this foundation. It's medium full cover. It's up to me. I think it's full coverage. I love the way it wears on my skin. I love the way it just perfects my skin. It looks so good, but it doesn't look cakey. It's not like a super lightweight foundation, but it's by no means a heavy foundation either. This just looks amazing on all skin types. Oily skin, it looks good. Dry skin, it looks good. This foundation is not overly matte but it's not um, like dewy either. It's like a perfect natural skin foundation. I absolutely love this. I'm pretty sure everyone has tried this. Comment down below, let me know if you guys love the Natural Longwear Radiant. It's a great foundation, still in my collection and I will always keep repurchasing it because it's just that good. NARS makes amazing foundations in my opinion and this is one that I will always have in my collection. And the next NARS foundation that I'm obsessed with, like if I had to pick between the two, honestly I couldn't because I really do like both of them. But this foundation, when I tell you, like was one of the best launches of 2022, the best, like absolutely one of the best. 
absolutely one of the best. I'm talking about the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This foundation, another banger from NARS. I wear the shade Macau on this as well. This is just so beautiful. It's a skin-like, dewy kind of foundation that's medium to full coverage. So this isn't as like glam as this. I feel like this foundation is more glam than this, but I love this foundation because it's more everyday. It's very lightweight. You can't feel it in your skin. Your skin just looks beautiful. Like it's dewy, but it's not like oily. Like your skin just looks absolutely gorgeous and youthful. This is such a good foundation. It's one of my absolute favorite foundations. And just like I have been continuously repurchasing this over the past couple of years, I will be doing the same for the Light Reflecting Foundation. It's just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I have oily combination skin and I love this. I don't think that it makes my skin look cakey. It doesn't break down easily. It's really, really long wearing. For it to be a more dewy foundation, it wears it wears beautifully on my oily combination skin. So that's what I have on my face today. I have these two mixed and listen, the face is sitting. I mean, I definitely check these two foundations out from NARS because they are just beautiful and I absolutely love them. So the next foundation, you're actually going to be pretty surprised because I have not shown on my channel in quite some time but that does not mean your girl does not use it and that does not mean that your girl does not love it this foundation is one hella affordable because it's drugstore yep you heard me right it is drugstore it's super duper affordable i think it's like 11 bucks 10 dollars it's no more than 12 dollars and this is for the full coverage girlies okay if you want full glam if you want long wearing if you want just like my face is snatched and everything is just perfection. This is the foundation for you. I am talking about the Catrice True Skin Foundation. I have a whole um, video on this foundation when I tried it out. I will link it um, somewhere in the screen. This foundation is absolutely stunning. I wear the shade um, 92 Warm Spices. When I tell you when I put this foundation on my face, I was like blown away. It is so, it's full coverage, but you don't look cakey. It looks like skin. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. But when I tell you it wears so beautifully, it wears, the. It, this is one of my longest wearing foundations ever. Like I do not crease not once. And I, ha I normally get lap lines very, very easily. That's how I can detect whether a foundation is long wearing is by my lap lines. Because usually they end up showing but with this, I do not get any lash lines. I do not get any creasing. It wears really, really well. I have oily combination skin. It does not break apart. It does not break down. It's just stunning. It's a beautiful foundation. If you are looking for a full glam, full coverage, really, really long wearing, comfortable foundation that's affordable, check out the Catrice True Skin because it's absolutely stunning. Tati raved about it. That's how, what made me pick it up and try it. And I'm so glad I did because it's beautiful. I'm sure it's still available. I think it's in, I got, I got mine from Ulta. I will make sure that I link all the foundations that I'm talking about down below. But this one, oh, anytime I want to be like snatched, like if I want to really just serve face, this is what I go for hands down. The next foundation that I'm going to talk about is one that is newer that actually came out Mm, honestly, no, it actually came out almost two months ago, a little under two months ago. Ever since I tried it, I've been obsessed with it. I did do a review on this, so I'll make sure that I link it on the screen so you guys can check out if you want more in-depth information on this. But this foundation is stunning, okay? She is stunning. The foundation I'm talking about is the Makeup by Mario foundation. This foundation is... Oh, She's beautiful. I wear the shade 24N. This is called the Surreal Foundation. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. It is a little bit on the thicker consistency, but not thicker, like it's heavy. Like it's not like a runny foundation. So it is a bit more full coverage, in my opinion, I would say. The kick to this is that it's a glowy foundation, but it's not glowy, like oily or do glow. Like it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like you guys, I've seen me use this foundation. I did a whole review on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It has like little shimmer flex, reflects in it, which can, it can throw you off when you look at it. But on the skin, your skin looks 
stunning it looks absolutely amazing wears really really well i love mixing this foundation you guys know i love mixing foundations like i love mixing foundations most of the time i'm wearing two foundations on there's usually not a lot of times where i'm wearing just one but this is a beautiful foundation it's absolutely gorgeous if you love a natural like dewy kind of vibe but you want a little bit more coverage this is a gorgeous foundation to check out and i always like to say makeup artists that come out with products they're usually one of the best they know what works they know what works they know what they need most of the time they make products that are that are amazing for all skin types because they work with all skin types they've been in the field they know what's good so i wasn't surprised when i fell in love with this because i mean it's makeup by mario is a uh, one of a kind so this foundation is absolutely stunning if you guys have not checked it out please check it out because it's really really nice and it has definitely worked its way up to my must-have foundations the next foundation that i'm going to talk about is one that is actually not new it's actually a pretty older foundation i want to say too old but it's still a really really good foundation i can't remember if this was in my last video because i don't know if it had came out by then i can't remember the foundation that i'm talking about is by rare beauty do you guys remember this foundation? I still really, really love this foundation. It's so different. I have two shades, one that's a little bit darker, one that's like my skin tone or closer to my skin tone. I love this foundation because it is extremely lightweight. That's one. And two, it is really long wearing. It's lightweight, it's long wearing, and it's a skin-like foundation. Like I would say this is like medium coverage. I don't consider it full, but I prefer more medium coverage foundations on a normal. I do have full coverage kind of foundations, but I don't wear those day to day. It's just not practical. This foundation is so, so nice. Like it's beautiful. Definitely one thing I will say about my taste in foundations or just base is, uh, or just base makeup is I have changed with the consistency of products that I like. I am more attracted to foundations that are more skin like more I don't want to say dewy but like I'm not more I'm not a matte girl anymore like I love matte looks but I have grown to love foundations that are natural skin like they still give me like a glow you know what I'm saying I feel like it just looks youthful it looks better you look better especially in person matte looks are beautiful 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 I love me a good matte look listen I'm an oily girl, so matte is my friend, but I've learned that through skincare and with technique, you can layer products in a certain way to where they all work together and they still are long lasting. You don't have to have everything matte, 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 matte for it to look good. So my foundation taste has changed a lot. I'm happy with the way I do my makeup now and I'm sure it's probably going to change as I continue to get older. but. I really am not shy. I don't shy away from dewy things. I don't shy away from skin like foundations because I just feel like they make your skin look healthy and you just look good. So this is one of those foundations. It's beautiful. It's easy. It's super duper blendable. It's super duper lightweight and it lasts really, really long. So this is still one that I absolutely love. I've had it for a couple years now. I think I did a review on this foundation. So I'll try to find the video and link it on the screen so you guys can check it out. But Rare Beauty Foundation is still one that I obsess over and I think it's just gorgeous for everyone to try out. And while we're on the topic of skin-like, dewy skincare, this foundation, oh baby, listen. If you want your skin to look like just, just, just beautiful, like just glass, this foundation is it. I love this foundation so much. It was it was very overhyped and I finally tried it out and I understood every single thing. It deserves all the praise that it is still getting and that it got. This is the House Labs Triclone Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It is just butter. Like your skin looks like butter it looks so smooth it looks so healthy it looks so plump it's one of those foundations that's just like you can't go wrong it cannot do any wrong it wears really really well on the skin 
I'm very surprised. That's another thing. Usually that's one of the reasons why I used to shy away from like dewy foundations because they, I just thought that it's just not going to work with my oily skin. It's not going to work with my oily skin, but I'm here to tell you that's incorrect. I think it depends. Yes, they may not last as long as a matte foundation would on your skin, but I feel like if you prep your skin really well and if you use the right products to set to you know to like setting sprays powders all of that you can make dewy foundations or skin like foundations still last a decent amount of time this is one of those foundations it's not going to last 24 hours on my skin it's just not because i'm gonna get oily but my skin just looks so beautiful when i have it on it just looks absolutely stunning this is a beautiful foundation it has a lot of skin like um, ingredients in it so it's good for your skin too I cannot complain the packaging is amazing it's super duper durable it's amazing this was like this was my first product from house labs that I tried out and I'm so happy it was my first product because I was hooked it was love at first application it was love at first application this foundation is amazing it's one I will continue to repurchase I think this looks amazing on all ages all skin types everyone everyone needs to try this foundation i don't care what kind of skin you have i don't care how old you are you need to try this foundation next foundation i'm going to talk about is one that is listen this one me and this one go like this this is my girl okay this foundation will always 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 be in my collection it's one of my must-have my favorite it's a one and done i can wear this by itself i mix it with other things like this is one if i had to pick one foundation where i'm just like she's got my back through everything this is the foundation this is that foundation okay i absolutely love this and if i swear that if, if they ever get rid of this foundation i'm protesting i'm protesting because i cannot live i truly cannot have this foundation in my collection i, it, I have to have it like it's always it's always always gonna be there it's just amazing the foundation that i'm talking about is the shiseido synchro skin self refreshing foundation this one, it was mentioned in my last video and I still feel the exact same way about it till this day. This is one of the best foundations out there in the market. 10 out of 10, top tier. They have a dewy found, they have a dewy version of this foundation if you have more dry skin. I tried that one, wasn't really my cup of tea. This is what I need to, this is more my lane. The self-refreshing foundation is stunning. It's lightweight, it's medium full to full coverage. You can build it up to full coverage. It lasts so long on the skin. And the part that's like my favorite, it's like, it says it's self-refreshing. I still don't understand how it is, but it is. Like I've never had a foundation that looks better the longer it wears on my skin. Usually it's like vice versa. Like you know, once once you hit that four or five hour mark, that's how you can start to tell how foundations are gonna kind of settle into your skin. Where this one just it just continues to look better by the hour, by the hour, by the hour. It does not break apart. I do not get any laugh lines. It's this one. I'm telling you guys, this foundation is so good. It is so so good. If you are an oily combination girl this foundation you have to have it you have to have it if you have not tried it let this be the video to tell you you have to you have to have it i don't even want you to try it go find your shade and pick it up because you have it's it, it, you're gonna be obsessed you're gonna be obsessed trust me when i say you're gonna be obsessed this foundation is so good it's one of my must have it's in my top three yes it's that good it's in my top three it might be number one i'm not gonna tell you but just know it's in top three Shiseido killed it with this formula it came out a long time ago and i've been obsessed for years and i have purchased i don't even know how many bottles of this but hey i have a backup of this because i thought it was going out of stock for a minute i was going oh, i was panicking i was like oh no no i need a backup i need to have like three backups yeah no i can't be without this this <laughs> this is a must have for sure the next foundation that i'm going to talk about is one that did come out last year and uh just it's Stunning. Like when I tell you skin is skinning, skin is skinning with this foundation. This is the Patrick Ta, what is this? The Double Cream and Powder um, Foundation Duo. This is so good. I absolutely love this foundation and powder duo. It's very practical. Both products are really, really nice. I wear the shade Tan 3 in this. I did a whole video testing this out. So if you want more in-depth review, I will link it on the screen. I think I have a video, honestly, 
for pretty much majority of these foundations so i will actually link all of them in the description box but this this cream foundation is so beautiful this matches my skin perfectly it's like a tad bit darker but i love that it wears so well on my skin it's like cream like it's just like butter on my skin like my skin looks so good it looks healthy it looks plump it's not too dewy it's not too matte it's just a beautiful formula and you get the powder in here you can set it's just gorgeous i love this yet again i told you another makeup artist founded brand patrick ta is another global makeup artist he's amazing he does great work and he has his own makeup line and i love a lot of his stuff like i told you a lot of makeup artists that come out with their makeup lines usually tend to have 10 out of 10 products because they know they, they know what works they know what works they know what wears well they know what looks good and this foundation is one that is just absolutely stunning and that i feel like honestly will work on a lot of different skin types i don't think I think if you have dry skin, you may need to moisturize a little bit more because it is a cream, so it's not a liquid, so it may be a little bit, I don't want to say it's hard to blend out, but it's a cream formula. So creams look really, really well on skin. I feel like it settles really, really well in your skin. It's just beautiful. Definitely check this cream and powder foundation duo because it's beautiful. It's stunning. I will definitely repurchase this when I finish this. It's a beautiful product. It's very versatile too. I wear it on my more glam days. I also wear it on a day to day every day. There's a lot you can do with this and I just love this product so, so, so much. It's so good. The next foundation I'm gonna talk about is another one that is affordable and it is just beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So the foundation that I'm talking about is actually black owned and you can get it at the drugstore and it's absolutely stunning. Ever since this foundation came out, I've been obsessed. I still wear it till this day. I love this foundation so much. This is the Oma Beauty by Sharon C. Flawless in Real Life Foundation. She looks like this. I have two shades in this. This is T, T4 and I also wear T3. Oh my God, this foundation is so beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's medium to full coverage. I would say it's a more medium foundation, which I do like. It is definitely skin light. I would say this foundation is like a natural skin like foundation. It's not dewy, but it's not matte, but you do still look like you have a slight shine to your skin. It's a gorgeous consistency. It's not overly runny, but it's not overly thick. It wears really, really well on the skin. I love this foundation. It is so, so, so nice. You can get it at Walmart or anywhere they have Oma Beauty by Sharon C. I believe, I don't know if they have it in Ulta, but I do know I, they have the whole line in Walmart. This foundation is so, so, so good. I know you guys probably haven't seen me use it or talk about it in a while, but I still love it. It's still amazing. I still love it. It is in my top rotation of foundations because I have a lot of foundations, as you can see, and I only have one face. There's only so much you can do with one face, okay? But best believe, this foundation will always be in rotation. It's one of my absolute favorites in my collection. It's gorgeous. It's it's just beautiful. It's, I don't know what else to say about it. I feel like this works really, really well for my oily combination skin, but I feel like it's a good foundation that would work for dry skin too. I think this is just a great foundation. It gives skincare benefits. It's It reminds me of like the House Labs foundation. I feel like the House Labs is more dewy, more hydrating than this, but they it's like in the same lane kind of vibe. So if you like the House Labs foundation, I think you should definitely try out the... Um, the Oma Beauty uh, Flawless in Real Life Foundation because it's just a stunning, 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 stunning foundation. Next foundation that I'm gonna talk about, I'm almost done, you guys. There's only three more. I, I know there's a lot, there's a lot, but there's so much good stuff out there. I didn't wanna leave anything out, so I really do wanna talk about the foundations that I really genuinely love and enjoy. Um, this next foundation is one that's so beautiful. I wore it last week when I went to work and I was just like, ugh. I love when like I haven't used something in a while and I use it and I just fall in love with it all over again. This foundation is so good. I'm talking about the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Oh, this one is just another beautiful foundation. It is so gorgeous. It literally gives you like HD skin. Like it's beautiful in photos. It's beautiful in person. I feel like it's a nice natural skin like foundation. It's not dewy, but it's not matte. It's like right, right, right in the middle. It's a beautiful, beautiful consistency. I love the packaging of this foundation. It's so beautiful. I love the fact that they redid this whole line. I believe this came back 
came out last year. It was shortly after the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation came out, if I'm not mistaken. They did like a whole rebrand, repackage of like the Makeup Forever HD skin. And I tried it out and I absolutely love this foundation. I wear the shade 4N62. I will make sure that I link all these foundations and my shades for them down below. So if you use me as a shade reference, all that information will be down in the description box. So make sure you guys check it out. This foundation is stunning. It's long wearing. The color matches are beautiful. Like the, this is my perfect color. Like it's perfect. They have such a good shade range in this foundation. It wears really, really well. I love, 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 love this. It's absolutely stunning. It's skin like, it's long wearing, it's medium coverage. So you can build it up to full if you want to. It's just like everything that I want in a foundation. I highly recommend if you guys have never tried the Makeup Forever HD, you should. You should because it's really good. It's really always going to be in my collection for sure. It's a beautiful, beautiful one to try out. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is one that has been out for ages, 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 ages. And it took me forever and a day to try it out. But when I did, I understood what the hype was about. This foundation is beautiful. It is, a, if you can get it from Sephora, it's a gorgeous, 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 okay, foundation. It looks so beautiful on the skin and it wears like a dream. It is such a good long wearing foundation. This foundation is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. You guys know I'm obsessed with the concealer. <laughs> I use the concealer so much. I use it every day when I do my makeup. But the foundation is just another beautiful product. It's so, so nice. It is a more thicker foundation. Like, because since the consistency of the foundation is thick when you pump it out, but it feels like nothing on your skin and it wears so long. It is a really, really good long wear foundation and it's like a medium coverage. So it's a great for every day. If you have those long office days, this is a good foundation for that. I think it's very versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's just a beautiful, easy foundation that works and just does everything that needs to do. It makes your skin look really, really good. It wears well on your skin. Super duper long wearing. It's a nice natural skin like foundation. I don't feel like it's a matte foundation, but I also don't feel like it's a dewy foundation. I don't know if you guys have kind of gotten the vibe of the kind of foundations that I like. I like a nice natural skin like foundation. Like I want my skin to still look healthy. I still want it to have a little glow. I still want it to look good. I don't want the I don't want my face to look like the life has been sucked out of it. Like that's not my vibe anymore. It's more affordable compared to other foundations that found in um, Sephora. It's $20, beautiful, beautiful product. You can get it in Sephora. This is a beautiful foundation. If you guys have yet to try the Sephora Best Can Ever, please try it out. Go to Sephora, get, get a sample for it because it's stunning. One of my favorite foundations. I can't remember if I had it in my last video. I feel like I did. I don't know. I have to go back and rewatch that video. It's been so long, but this foundation is still a favorite of mine. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and last but not least, we have to save, I don't wanna say the best for last because there's all of these are just amazing, but we have to save the most newest for last. This is the most recent foundation that I have tried out for you guys, and yes, it's already made it to my must-have foundation list and collection. This is the KVD Serum Foundation. This foundation, if you have oily combination skin, this is the foundation for you. I love this foundation so much because, yes, I do not like a matte foundation. I do think this is a comfortable matte foundation. My skin still looks like skin when I have it on. It's not like super duper dry or anything like that. But my favorite part about this foundation is that it is so lightweight. This is the most lightest foundation that gives a ton of coverage. It is insane. It is insane how this foundation works. It's very, very full coverage, but it literally feels like you have absolutely nothing on your skin. I feel like I have nothing on my skin when I wear this. It wears really, really, really well. It is long wearing. It says it's transfer proof. I do believe it's transfer proof. This is gonna be a great foundation when it starts to get hot down here and it, it, those months are starting to come up. So this is gonna be definitely being used a ton because I'm gonna be looking for foundations that are very lightweight because I don't want my skin to feel like I have anything on, especially when it's like already hot outside. Like I want to still look good and be glam and things like that, but it, it's hard to do makeup. It's hard to do full coverage glam makeup when it's hot because you tend to sweat, you tend to, everything just tends to kind of move around. But with this, 
it does not do any of that this is definitely my newest favorite it's a beautiful foundation it's pretty new it came out a couple weeks ago i think maybe like three weeks ago if you guys have not checked it out definitely check it out i'll leave a link on the screen somewhere above because i did review my uh, this foundation and give you my thoughts on it of course as you can see i love it it's a great foundation especially if you have oily combination skin definitely check this out it's a stunning foundation to have Alrighty, you guys that is it i hope this video is not too too long but it's been a long overdue i've been really wanting to film an updated must have favorite foundations for me that i feel like i just cannot live life without i love all of these foundations equally the same because they all have a purpose they serve a purpose on my face so i absolutely love every single foundation that i mentioned i will make sure that i link everything in the description box down below with my shades so you guys can try some of these babies because listen okay if you want your face to be sitting to look beautiful to look youthful just gorgeous you're gonna get that from any one of these foundations so if there's you don't have to own every single one of these try at least one of them out if you haven't and i would love to know how many of you guys have any of these foundations so make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any of these babies i would love to know i want to know if you guys like the same kind of you know foundations that i do make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love to see more recommendation videos from me i love doing videos like this i think i'm gonna do another one that's coming up i might do one for my favorite blushes i don't think i've ever done a blush video you guys know i love me a good blush okay so I might do that one next. So make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what else you guys would love to see for me to recommend it to you. If you're not subscribed, please scroll down below and tap that subscribe button so you can join the family and make sure you also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I will be uploading next. Thanks once again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.